Hi everyone, Savannah Tree Foundation Field Manager Jake Henry here, and today we're at the Candler Oak, but I'm not talking about the Candler Oak specifically. Uh, if you don't know about this tree, you should watch our video on that. It's a fascinating specimen of a live oak here in downtown Savannah. Uh, but instead today, I actually wanted to talk about acorns. So we're coming up on the end of October, and this is sort of prime acorn season, at least this year. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about what acorns are, how they function, and why you might be seeing more of certain species than others. Uh, so let's get into it. So when I say acorns, uh, I mean these little things right here. And these are the seeds of oak trees. Now, acorns are specific to oaks. You know, trees produce seeds in a lot of different ways. You know, we can have walnuts and pecans. We can have little maple seeds, um, pine cones from pine trees. So they do vary quite a bit, but we're looking specifically at acorns today uh, because they're, they're really fascinating and especially for live oaks. So as I shown here, there's a little bit of green still on that cap. So this one fell off a little bit early when they turn completely brown, that's when you know that they are just prime, they are ready. So we can see, if we look around, there's some here. This one's pretty green, that one fell off early. Yeah, here's one here that's nice dark brown. That's a beautiful acorn and it's big too. Um, now you might notice that the tip here is just kind of light and that's actually where the cap was. Oh, here we go. So you can see the cap still attached to this acorn and then it just sort of falls right off of that cap onto the ground and live oak acorns are a little bit more elongated than others many oak species tend to have a little bit more rounded acorns uh, but live oaks are a little bit longer and typically a little bit smaller um, and you'll notice that you know some of these green ones tend to be pretty small when they're fully ripe and fully developed they're a little bit bigger uh, which just gives them that much more viability. Now, <clears throat> each acorn only grows one tree. So trees sort of produce seed in different ways to hedge their bets. Uh, now, when you look at a pine cone, those are filled with pine tree seeds. They're much smaller, and so they don't have as much energy stores when they start to germinate. So they sort of hedge their bets by just making lots of seed. Well oak trees tend to do the opposite. They tend to make much bigger seeds or acorns and these have a much higher chance of germination than say a pine tree seed. Um, now that might seem a little hard to believe this time of year because the live oaks produce prolific amounts of acorns. They're just everywhere. You sort of see a little dust on the side of the roads because people run them over and there's just so many. Um, but in theory, that's how it works. A, a larger seed is going to be produced a little bit less and has a higher chance of germination or viability. Now, one cool thing about live oaks in particular is the way that the seeds actually germinate. Now, in many places, uh, seeds have to go through what's called a stratification period. And essentially, that just means they need to be cold for a little while. So. They need, they're used to a winter, some kind of frost or cooler temperatures for a few months. Um, and when you're collecting seeds, you have to sort of mimic that. So if you were to collect some, say, white oak acorns and wanted to germinate them yourself, you would probably keep them in a fridge for a couple months just to mimic that cold temperatures because we don't really get that down here. And the fun thing about that with live oaks is they don't actually need stratification. So they will just grow fine right away. And uh, I actually found some last week that were already starting to open up uh, from the, the tip of the acorn. So it opens up right there at the tip and starts sending out a root. So we actually had an event here last weekend where we collected acorns. So you can see a lot of these are, are removed already. Now collecting right off the tree actually has a few benefits. Uh, first is you know exactly which tree your seeds came from. We know that it came from the Candler Oak and not, you know, one of the oak trees across the street. Squirrels love to move seeds around and acorns and pine cones. So this is a good way to make sure you know exactly what tree it's coming from. One of the other benefits too is when those acorns hit the ground, 
insects are all over them. They are such a great food source for all kinds of wildlife, insects, squirrels, birds. So when you can get them right off the tree, it's usually a better bet that insects haven't gotten to them and a squirrel hasn't if it's still there. So let's take a look around and see if we can find some more acorns on this branch. All right, so this is perfect. Let's take a look at these acorns here. There's actually a few of them on this branch. You can see a couple more up there. And this is what we're looking for when we collect at least live oak acorns. It's nice dark brown and it should be pretty easy to remove it. If you have to force it, then it's not quite ready. But all you have to do is a really gentle twist. I barely even touched it and it, it came right off. So this acorn is perfect. And you can actually see that little bit of white right there. That one's starting to open up already. So it's starting to germinate before it even leaves the branch, which is just absolutely fascinating and so cool how prolific these tree species are. Um, so it's great to see this. It's really cool to see that happening in action. Uh, and acorns are really just a, a fascinating aspect of live oaks that we only get to see once a year. And as I mentioned, uh, live oaks in particular are very prolific. Uh, not all oak trees produce acorns quite as frequently. Um, some are actually what are called mass species. So they'll produce a lot more in some years than others. And that has a lot to do with climate, weather for the year. Um, really, they try to make sure that environmental conditions are prime for germination of their acorns. Um, but because it's usually so warm and moist here down on the coastal regions, uh, live oaks don't really have an issue with germination, so they produce lots and lots of seeds pretty much every year. So that was just a quick little video on acorns, and maybe we'll do some more on some other uh, seeds from other tree species. But thank you all so much for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Take care.